and more disappointing news, this time from Marvel, regarding the new Blade um, movie that's going to be made. So, or the reboot, I should say. Um, Blade's Bassam Tariq has stepped away from the directing of Marvel upcoming reboot, set to fully flesh out the Daywalker after a voice-only cameo in last year's Eternal. Production on the vampire blockbuster was nearly was nearing its November start date in Atlanta following several delays. And, you know, part of this, I think, is the fact that, you know, Marvel have got so many fingers in so many pies now. You know, they've, they've, their slate for Phase 4 is huge. And uh, and I just think it's getting more and more difficult for them to get everything, get all the things aligned to, to make these things. You know, I'm, I'm not entirely surprised this is happening. It's currently unclear how a major loss like this will impact the filming. But you can bet your house on Marvel boss Kevin Feige hiring a top tier replacement. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. And I, I'm really looking forward to this Blade reboot. I enjoyed the original Blade movies. And uh, and I hope that, um, that they do these justice. I just think with Disney, they're going to water it down. I just, I'm just worried it's not going to be, you know, uh, all, all blood and guts and stuff like that. I reckon they're just going to dumb it down. And, and that would be a real shame because Blade is one of those franchises that you really need to have. Uh, you know, it really needs to be that kind of level of... Um, you know of acting and that kind of level of, of scenes to uh to give it justice I, i'm not entirely sure they're going to be able to do that through disney and through disney plus but we'll have to wait and see marvel studios said that due to continued shifts in our production schedule bassam is no longer moving forward as director of blade but will remain an executive producer on the film we appreciate bassam's talent and all the work he's doing getting blades to where it is to getting blades to where it is the filmmaker himself who burst into the scene in uh, mogul mowgli uh, commented it's been an honor working with the wonderful folks at marvel we were unable to put together a killer cast and we were able to put together a killer cast and crew eager to see where the next director takes the film it's i don't know these these kind of issues sometimes sound a bit of a death knell for these types of movies so we'll have to wait and see what's going on and uh and we'll have to wait and see what happens let me know down in the comments what you think whether this is going to be bad news for blade or whether you think that uh actually this could be a good thing and that uh as long as they get it sorted out eventually, then that's all fine. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more TV and movie news.